things that happens in an NFL locker room that's behind closed doors that the media and that the fans really don't get a chance to see. And obviously, NFL locker rooms have come under quite a bit of scrutiny with what happened in Miami with Richie right. Incognito and Jonathan Martin and people speculating about how Michael Sam would be, whether well, whether he'd be welcome in to an NFL locker room, no questions asked. And your teammate, Connor Barwin, wrote a piece for the MMQB essentially saying that he had never heard language like what he saw in the Ted Wells report and that he was actually surprised that it got to that level considering he's been in the NFL for a long time, several locker rooms, and never saw anything like that. Did you share Connor's sentiment? I did. You know, I, I could see how maybe some locker rooms get, get out of whack sometimes, but we've always had, in Philadelphia, and this is, I can only speak from Philadelphia because it's the only place I've been, and uh, we've always had strong leadership in the locker room that if something like that was going on, you know, somebody would step up and tell them to knock it off or, or at least pull somebody off to the side and not make a scene about it, but just not let it get to that point. And, um, yeah, when the Wells report came out, I guess shocked was, uh, one of the words you could use to describe how I was, how I reacted to it. You think Richie Incognito is going to play for a team again? I think so. You know, I think that he's taking the steps he needs to right now to get the help that he needs and, you know, turn this whole thing around and, and do a positive into his career. What about Jonathan Martin? Um, well, I read, I read an article the other day, I forget who it was by, but they said that um, one of the GMs was coming out saying how they might not be able to get over the toughness that you know, Jonathan Martin has shown in this whole thing. But, um, you know, I, I, I could see, I think it'd be silly for him to be that type of a, a player, make it to this level, and, you know, not be tough. So I could see a couple GMs or a couple teams giving him an opportunity to at least go out there and prove himself, you know. Do you think offensive linemen have gotten a bad rap because of all this stuff that happened in Miami? Um, well, I think football players in general have gotten a bad rap. Um, because of it and I don't think that's quite fair but you know that's kind of uh, the bed that we've made so uh, it's up to us to change the image and, and change the culture of the league not up to anybody else. All right so let's talk about some positive stuff your foundation right. and the good things that you guys are doing tell us a little bit about what you have coming up you're using the off season to really raise money to help other people especially in the Philadelphia area. Right um, well we have a uh, event coming up March 27th um, it's called Hoops for Help and in Philadelphia, what we're doing is we're picking six different charities to raise money for. Um, and what we do is that all the money that we raise, we divvy it up and, and you know, give checks to each of the charities to help them. Um, they're smaller charities. We want to be able to make a big impact uh, for them in our community. Uh, it's called Hoops for Help, which is kind of weird. You know, I'm a football player. but I was going to say, what's your game like? March 20th. I, <laughs> March 20th. I can definitely see you as a power forward, Todd. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you're a guard. I, can't I don't know if you have the body well. type. Um, <laughs> But it's, it's the first day of the Sweet 16 tournament. So we call it Hoops for Help, and everybody that comes gets assigned a uh, basketball team that's in the Sweet 16 to follow and root along. And uh, if your team wins the whole thing, you get a grand prize of like a GoPro camera. And I think the runner-up gets a Todd Herman's jersey, which is pretty special. <laughs> there you go. Well, you can't get any better than that. Just because we feel like trolling some people on the internet today, our poll question asks, which team do you think will win the NFC East next year? You want to give this some some heavy thought? <laughs> which which team do I think? Yeah. Well, I would go with the Eagles. Yeah, I think you're going to go with the Eagles. I, it'd be weird if you went with someone else. Let's be <laughs> honest. Todd Harriman, good luck. Congratulations. The the hoops, everything about it, the 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 charity. I know you're helping people out in Philadelphia. And t March 27th. March 27th. Uh, tickets are 3.25 a piece. You can get them on our website, which is HarrimansFoundation.org. And uh, you know, go get some tickets and raise money for good causes. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode. It's just 30 minutes long in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. May not be the swimsuit channel, but just as exciting. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. There may be a swimsuit model there. We'll see you.